Hi eSpark readers! In this quest, we are going to think about the author's purpose. When you are reading nonfiction or informational texts, there is one question you should be able to answer. What is the author's purpose? Remember, the author is the person who wrote the book. You want to figure out what the author is trying to teach you. Let's try to figure out the author's purpose on the next few pages. This is the first page of a book written by a chef. It is about pizza. It says, My favorite food is pizza. Pizza is a fun food to make. I want to teach you how to make pizza. We can tell by reading her words what the author's purpose is. To teach us how to make pizza. The words in the book told us exactly why the author wrote the book. That was easy. Now let's try a harder one. This is a page from a book about skunks. It says, A stinky skunk. Skunks are black and white animals. When skunks get scared, they spray a stinky spray. If you see a skunk, stay away. Looking at the title of a book can also help you to figure out the author's purpose. The title of this book is A Stinky Skunk. That tells me that skunks smell bad. Let me look at the rest of the text for information that can help me figure out what the author is trying to teach me. Here it is. It says at the end of the page, if you see a skunk, stay away. I think the author's purpose is to tell us not to go near skunks because they're stinky. I figured that out by looking at the title and paying close attention to the words on the page. The picture on the page can also help us figure out the author's purpose. The author probably included the picture of the skunk to show us what skunks look like, so if we see one, we stay far away. When you are reading nonfiction texts, read the words carefully and look at the pictures closely to help you answer the question, what is the author's purpose? Doing this will make you an even better reader. Have fun e-sparking!